the type of flames depends upon the quantity of oxygen or to be more precise the quantity of oxygen taken from the cylinder or utilized from the atmosphere in case of neutral flame the oxygen to acetylene ratio is equal to 1 which means one mole of oxygen is used or fetched from the oxygen cylinder in case of neutral flame the maximum temperature is 3260 degrees celsius and the average temperature lies between 2000 to 2100 degrees celsius neutral flames are used for low carbon steel mild steel and medium carbon steel welding processes it is not used for brass now in case of oxidizing flame the oxygen to acetylene ratio is more than 1 which means more than 1 mole of oxygen is fetched from the cylinder here the maximum temperature is 3380 degrees celsius and the average temperature lies between 2100 to 2200 degrees celsius oxidizing flame are used primarily for brass and it is not used for aluminum and last but not the least we have carburizing flame in case of carburizing flame the oxygen to acetylene ratio is lesser than 1 that means lesser than 1 mole of oxygen is fetched from the cylinder and the rest oxygen is taken from the atmosphere you must remember that 1 mole of acetylene requires 2.5 mole of oxygen for fully combustion and this 2.5 mole of oxygen is bifurcated in terms of fetching from the oxygen cylinder and the atmosphere this quantity is what decides the type of the flame we are going to obtain now in case of carburizing flame the maximum temperature is 3040 degrees celsius and the average temperature lies between 1800 to 1900 degrees celsius they are used for high carbon steel and gray cast iron and they are not used for any ferrous material now in case of maximum temperature and average temperature as you must have noticed oxidizing flame tops them all followed by neutral flame and finally the carburizing flame